Well, it's 5 o'clock, and I honestly have no idea how many people are in here right now. All of three people, which, better than none, I guess. Uh, so I'd like to welcome everyone to this first stream that I've had in months. The first time I've been on Twitch in probably at least a couple years. And goodness knows that first time, the quality wasn't that good. Uh, so, time to get to the main attraction. I said I was going to be doing a Mega Man 5 ROM hack, and this was not the one I was referring to. This is one that I've played a few times through, and I've taken a liking to it. It's called Mega Man 5 Double Jumper. And now my the title on my stream makes more sense. Yeah, it's not that old. It's it. I find it's a really good ROM hack. It alters the levels, alters the music, as you can hear. It even alters the music and not the music, uh, the uh, weapons and the boss behavior. Oh wait. Uh. Oh yeah, this thing has battery backup too. I forgot about that. Uh, though I don't remember how. Hmm. Ah, uh, forget how. Hmm. How do I reset this thing again? I forgot that that was a thing. Uh, Did I still have the F the uh, read me for this thing? Not on me. Okay, let me just look this up real quick. And I know things are kind of getting... I can hear the music being laggy on my end. It probably is for you, too. Uh, let's see. Where is it? When restarting a new game, press A while holding B. Okay. That'll do it. There we go. I knew there was a legitimate reason to reset things. Alright, so... The thing about this one, I do... It, it took me a moment to realize it, but it turns out that the... Uh, weakness order is actually reversed. Which I think is a neat touch, because it means I pretty much already know the order to do things in. And I'm actually going to let you guys decide which one I go after first. With the exception, I don't particularly like fighting Stone Man Buster only. Not the way he goes about things. So I, I want to say any of the others should be fair game. And then we'll just go in, go in uh, weapon order from there. And I honestly don't know what the stream delay is on right now, so might take a moment to hear get a response. And I see Starman, so Starman, we go. Uh. Oh, and I get a one up right off the bat. And one of the really neat things about this game is it uh, it takes out all of the uh, the letters. 
Oh, hello, Lucas. Hello. I'm just making sure this is okay. Oh, I can hear you fine, but I I did turn uh turn down Discord because I was afraid things were gonna blow your drums out on that end. Though I might have to turn it back up a little bit. Yeah, it's it, you're sounding kind of quiet on my end. I think I'll turn Discord up a little bit. I'm also on my phone, so that might be doing it a bit. There we go. I can hear you. Well, if nothing else, I can hear you a little bit better. <laughs> and hello, uh, Artisan Travado. Okay. Uh oh. And one thing that I forgot to mention that apparently I hadn't showcased yet. There's a reason why this hack is called Double Jumper. Because you have Double Jump. <laughs> right from the get-go. And the game pretty much operates under that presumption. So. You're supposed to just know you can Double Jump. Well, like I said, it's called Double Jumper for a reason. And like... Well, I would do like... I would mostly end up doing what you just did, just jump into spikes. Well, that and I realized I probably went went the wrong way, and I thought maybe I could go like hit down jump to like go through the platform, but apparently not. And then I panicked and ran, jumped into the spikes. Uh, and instead of one thing I was trying to say before I got distracted, hey, another one up. Uh, that the all the letters that are normally a staple of Mega Man 5 has been replaced and every stage has a special item which I think I'm about to encounter right about now yes and holy cow I got the energy balancer right off the bat uh, so you've got your normal bonus weapons I guess you've got the uh, Rush Coil, Rush Jet, Super Arrow, and Beat. But there's also four other items that are unique to this hack, including the Energy Balancer, which I just got, which is very nice. And then we have these, uh, a D-Tank, for lack of a better word. And... Yeah, it basically doubles my speed, which, honestly, I don't much care for, so I'm just showing it off here now, and I probably won't pick them up for the rest of things. And I want to say there's a version of this hack that has the uh, double speed as a permanent feature, but I don't recall no, that. Thank you. Hmm? No, thank you. Yeah, well, I, I understand how some people would care for it, but I really don't. Uh, I don't. I don't need to go fast in the game that requires precision platforming. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. Goodness knows I recently got uh, Super Meat Boy, so yes, I am. I am aware of the whole having issues with precision platforming deal. A game where you constantly go faster and are encouraged to go faster. Yep, and take advantage of my double jump to get the Z tank. Oh jeez, and holy cow, I'm getting a lot of one-ups here. How many lives do I have? I'm up to five, okay. Isn't, isn't Mega Man 5 like notoriously generous? I honestly don't remember because ga game overing is never something I have to worry about in Mega Man 5. Not, not in years anyway. Uh, although I'm running dangerously low on health. I do see that. At, and then I got shield slammed. Dang it. Right at the boss door, too. And I'm back here, and the D-Tank did not respawn, so I won't have to worry about that again. We don't need to go fast. Not in this case, no. This is not Sonic. We don't go fast. Although that first jump after I got the D-Tank would help would, would, was helpful, but then I do have double jump. 
Yeah, you can just make a double jump. I do like that this hack is designed with the double jump in mind, from what I'm saying. Yeah. Instead of them just shoot, instead of just shoot warning in the double jump and not changing the level design to come, or making the level design to compensate for it. I should say. Hello, Adam. Hey. So ah, dang it. dang it, ah, dang it, ah. Ah, my buttons are sticking, and it sucks. I think the button on my N64 controller, I think the buttons are wearing out. Though I just bought a replacement option, so hopefully things will last until then. So, this level has a lot of red. Has what now? A lot of red. Hmm. Always hated those guys. The guys that, you know, you gotta make a jump and then all of a sudden they pop up. Bam! Right into the pit. They go to double if they respawn. Ah. And. Even despite dying like I have, I'm still at five lives now. You can never call Mega Man 5 being the glorious weekend with one Meanwhile, Mega Man 3 is the one game where you can actually go into double digits. I've played that one enough to know that. <laughs> but do you ever need to go into double digits? Me? Not really. But I have. I think I've gotten up to like... 15, 16 lives at some point on some runs. When you have that many lives, it's, it's, uh, beating the game is just eventuality at that point. <laughs> Unless you are really bad. If you're really bad, how would you be able to stock up 16 lives in the first place? Alright, oh. Starman! Who's at least a little bit harder than normal, if memory serves. I didn't know the shield guys did so much damage, though. And bear in mind, as I said, the weapon, the uh, weakness order has been reversed. So normally Gravity Man would be this guy's weakness. Dang, look at all, look at all the stars flying. Yeah, the thing is, like, I, like I said, a lot, of, a lot of the weapons have been modified, and Star Crash is, oddly enough, not an exception to this rule. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of like one of those insanely hard Mega Man 2 hacks where they really edited the weapons. Well, let's put it this way. The Power Stone is actually good. Oh god. Power Stone is like... The weapon you want to wear on your worst enemy. Not, not, and not in this game, charge though. Man. It's only useful for charge man, although. Uh, I don't feel like taking any chances here. Even though I'm at five lives, I don't care. Energy tanks is usually not something I have to worry about in this game either. Of course. Ah, dang it. This is I don't really need to be have be charged up anyway. There we go. So many projectiles. Yeah. Doesn't help that apparently there's because sp sprite limitations. I'm not necessarily seeing them all. Yeah, I'm, I'm, no, I'm noticing some of them are just like, disappearing. And the main difference with. Star Crash here, compared to the original, it still does what it does. It's still a barrier weapon, but you can, uh... You can, uh... Shoot it forward, and it... It, uh... It persists. It'll still keep going. 
until it runs out of energy, which it will use up some of its energy on contact. So uh, yeah, that's something. So it's a shield that you can use as a wife. Pretty much, yeah. Alright, moving on to Wave Man. Wild Man. Dot Wild. <laughs> and here's... I guess Starman was kind of a bad first choice to show off the whole double jumping thing, but with the whole low gravity. So we'll be seeing at least a bit more from here on. And the red bomb dropping out a nice shade of purple. Yep, and I see the D-Tank. Uh, it's not worth getting. Not where it's at. Uh, I forget which sta which stages have which items. And hey, a preview! We got the aquatic meat tools in here. Yeah, ah, dang nice. it. Couldn't get the one up. Oh, geez, then we got dolphins. Still, Mega Man had dolphins before Mega Man. Or Pokemon. To be fair, Mega Man was an NES. My point still stands, dang it. Well, that's cool. Um, can you guys hand me? Yes, we can! Oh, okay, good. It's, it's not that. Right. That's some major lowering you're doing. Just tiptoe forward to make the mat pop up. Well, yeah, might as well try to, oh. try to go them in before making the jump across. Thank you. I was never that great at these games. And we got a we got a transfer from Crystal Man stage. What what the heck are these guys doing here? Hello, Seki. Uh, I forget which one of these goes where. I'll try this top one. Um. Uh, <laughs> Everything is shut. Alright, this will work, I guess. Oh, energy tank, nice. Yeah, this almost reminds me of, like, how they have another ROM pack that's, like, real gimmicky. It's. Uh, it, it, it's a Rockman buy pack where you can slide in the air. Uh, air sliding, yeah, I think I've heard of that one. I don't think I've ever played it, though. Uh, oh, jeez, the bubbles go in diagonals. Oh, oh lovely. Boy. And, and then Razor Blade blocks the floor scrubber. It blocks your shots from the floor scrubber. Uh, oh, dear. Oof! Made it! Not... Though well, I didn't really need the... Energy thing. Uh... Though I fear... Oh, jeez. I fear that I might have already missed the special item that's in this stage. Thankfully, I... The f me being able to uh, re-enter stages hasn't changed. Yeah, I did miss it, because I'm already at the boss room. Oh uh, well. Thankfully, it gives me the option of exiting a stage midway through, too. Though I noticed that we didn't have the uh, the uh, jet ski thing before. That was about to say. I don't see what Wave Man's like. Whew. That was closer than it probably should have been. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, when I say that the star crash persists, I ain't kidding. Even when you have it around you, it still stays constant until you shoot it or it runs out of energy, whichever comes first. That's why I didn't jump into the spikes right there being challenged to death. Uh, you know what? I I want to find this dang thing. Is it back here? No. 
Gosh dang it, dog. And, it, and the thing is, you don't need you don't need like rush coil or rush jet or whatever else to actually get any of these. So you can get them in any order you want. It's just a matter of actually finding them, and they're always in kind of out of the way areas. As we expected. Although the one for Charge Man was hiding in plain sight, which obviously means it took me forever to actually find it. It was well hidden to find it, when it's like right in your face, it's like, yeah, I don't need it. No, it wasn't, it wasn't that, it was, I literally didn't see it. Even, uh, though, it, even though it was right freaking there. Yeah, I'm, I'm the type of person that if I'm trying to find something, <laughs> I, I will most oh yeah, it's over here. Over here. I didn't. I didn't think of going left here. And oh, this is the uh, super arrow. All right. Goodness knows. Who knows how, how often I could use it? But it's there. Isn't that also a weapon? Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. Who is? Uh, wave man. Oh, charge man's next. All right. You get to use the power of water on it. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, and the how this weapon is different is uh, instead of like three waves moving forward, it's one wave going in one front and one back. And the energy balancer is already working wonders. I don't have to worry about having to switch weapons to recharge him. Oh, what are you... What are you stupid laser bot doing here? Why <laughs> and we have... auto-scrolling and charge... <laughs> oh wait, auto... So charge man had auto-scrolling to begin with, didn't it? No, I don't think so. Oh, I, I could have sworn. Uh, scrolling back around. Ah. Yeah, the stage wasn't, wasn't actually... <laughs> okay, I guess that was... Well, it is now! Well, at least it's not the train stage from Little Nemo. <laughs> uh... I vaguely remember that. Yeah. It's been it's been forever, but I vaguely remember that. Like, it just, like, jerks up, and then goes down and jerks back up, and... You have to like duck and you have to move very precisely so you don't wind up getting slight. I have never played that game. It, it, looks, like a little, it looks like a little kid's game, but it's one of those games that is super hard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, geez, three of them. Weak! This auto scroll segment goes on for a while. Eh, uh, it, it does. It, it kind of makes more sense to have an to have the train stage be an auto scroller than what we got. Yeah. Uh, and Run. chicken. And this is what I meant by the rush by the uh, item in Charge Man hiding in plain sight. Rush coil get. As in, it's stupidly, it's really impossible that you, you, you miss it. Pretty much, yeah. Except this is me we're talking about, so yes, it is obviously possible for me to miss it. Well, we've seen that only a hundred times in DC. <laughs> you know, someone should make a quest just to spite you, like, like put a neon flashy sign saying bomb here. And yes, got the energy tank, good. And then you still miss it. You filmed it, and you with the bright neon sign pointing at it saying bombs together. I, 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 <laughs> I would be that one guy that puts the obvious bomb spots, but they don't actually do anything. They need the door catch on this. Alright, switch. Boss room, switching to the water wave. And yeah. Okay, you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, to be honest, most people on DC can't stand or repair charges. <laughs> <laughs> Although, what I want to try to do... Uh, you know, I want to wait and let you do... 
let you do your other attack here. If I'm, never mind. I don't want to die. Um, his other attack when he flash when he turns red. Normally when he has like the flaming something or others drop, dropping down from the ceiling, instead they pop up from the floor in random spots. Uh, though I didn't, I didn't let him. I, I gave him a brief moment to do it, but uh, health took precedence. And uh, something like that, probably. And so charge kick, not altered in the least, because <laughs> there was really not much you could do about that. And uh, Stone Man. Yeah, you know, like I say, it's it's a, still about as useful as it normally is. I just remember someone made a video saying like top spin doesn't suck or something. Well, there's yeah, it, if you know how to use it properly, yeah. If you know how to use it, it's the strongest weapon in the game. Yeah, and not to mention if you know which enemies are immune to it. That's the important. That's the big thing. Ah, dang it! Video I, ah, this one video I saw. You ever played uh, Drac uh, Dracula X with the Castlevania game? Oh, I love that game. Well, <laughs> well, what happened is someone was almost dead, and he was playing Dracula second form with the key. That's the best weapon in the game, actually. And he just completely humiliated What's Dracula. Oh dang, I've, I've got seven lives, what am I worried about? With this freaking key. Dracula, of all things, gets killed by a key. Of course, man, you spawn the, uh, the item crash for the key, it's the best move in the game. Really? <laughs> Considering you get people with it. <laughs> well, freaking, this, this just proves that Dracula's true weakness isn't a vampire killer. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! I think. Aha! I somehow spotted the alter the uh, differently colored wall, and I got beat, which I'll probably never use either. You got a bird. Yeah, that, that is. I'm seeing because the stream is obviously a bit behind. And that, that well, yeah. That is, that is kind of something. Well, that's yeah. that's keeping in tune with how Storm Man stage normally is, because you know the G is hidden behind that one block that you might not see. Yeah. Although the one thing I find that suits me off about that spot is the. Uh, it's only one block. <laughs> only, there's only one block there, so there should be two to make it flush with the wall. Hmm. And why do these? Why do we have these bouncy things? They're not supposed to bounce. They're supposed to fly. Bouncing makes it more difficult. Well, yeah, that <laughs> kind of goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anybody yeah, they start traumatizing. It's like, oh god. But, uh, yeah, really? It's only it's only the sine wave fighter. It's only an issue when it's like the bats from Ninja Gaiden. Now you know what one enemy that will give you nightmares. Have you ever tried playing uh, Castlevania Three? Yes. Second game. Those stalls. I swear those yeah. stalls are hungry. Yeah. Really, it's just. And I'm doing alright, Amelia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing alright. 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 I'm But a, a tangent I had a while back while we were talking about Zelda Classic is yes, I'd make a bunch of freaking trick walls, 
just make you bomb and you don't get anything at all. But I want to try and tie the tie the stuff to the like the uh, I'm at low health. I am not gonna switch to the charge kick just now. I'm gonna show off how just how nasty Stone Man is now. Now, uh, Stone Man is more like Air Man now. Oh god, don't don't tempt me to play. Uh, I can't speed Air Man. Uh, well, that's why I said not to have me do this one first. Uh, you know, <laughs> the water wave works against this guy too, because it'll destroy those rocks. Although he doesn't seem as bad because you don't have to do a And oh yeah, wave. this guy has kind of a second phase. And I dang it. Charge kick myself right off a cliff. Oh god. <laughs> but I haven't seen the ah I just witnessed it. Oh the wind mechanic would be really bad here. <laughs> the wind mechanic would make it impossible. It'd be cheap to just keep on blowing straight off the edge. Oh jeez, really? Uh Okay, really, this is gonna sound so newbie, but I remember the first time I played any of these games. There we go. Oh yeah. And, like, the first time I ever played a regular Mega Man game, like I, I thought because I played X first, I thought you could like slide down the walls. And it's like yeah, my introduction to the series was Mega Man 3, and I have played uh, some of the X stuff, like mostly X1, though I have, I'm not really, I don't have that much experience with it, uh, so.